Well, we've had no shortage of water this summer. We've had some beautiful weather, though. Yeah, years. I mean, it came just in time. If mm. you, I mean, it's hard to think back to it was four or five days ago that we had flooding that was so bad and rain every single day. It was exhausting. Then Fourth of July came and beautiful. Yeah, the sun came out. How oh, lucky so nice. is that? It was really nice out yesterday, and I think today is uh, definitely rivaling how beautiful it is out. It's already 80 degrees in Burlington. That sun has absolutely helped us warm up. 78 degrees in St. J after a cool start there in the 40s. In Plattsburgh, a little behind at 74, but feels great there anyway. 78 in Lebanon along the Connecticut River Valley elsewhere too. Just get out and enjoy that beautiful day. This is what it looks like in Milton. You've got sun across the sky here, barely any clouds to interrupt it at all. Blue skies for everyone. And if you check out Storm Tracker here, it is definitely agreeing with that. You've got clear skies, very little to nothing going on, not only for us, but for our entire region. Again, really lucking out when it comes to that holiday weather. And now it just carries right on over into our July 5th. So really good news for those of you who took that extra day off. There are some changes on the horizon, though, today. Just one more day of that really beautiful, pleasant weather. And while we do have a chance for scattered showers as we head into the end of the work week and a couple of thunderstorms as well, it's not going to be too bad. We have uh, just a couple of scattered showers here and there between the next couple of days. Nothing is widespread. Flooding shouldn't be a concern. And in fact, despite a little bit of rain on the way, we should mostly start to see some very slow improvement to some of those flood conditions like we've seen over the last couple of days. So we can't, uh, we're not going to panic or anything about this rain that's on the way. A high pressure system will continue to take over for one more day. It is what's bringing us not only the nice clear blue skies and that warm up, but it's also bringing us the low humidity, that's that really nice, pleasant, refreshing air that we've had yesterday and today, and also a very light wind. So we get to enjoy that too. Not a whole lot going on because of that high. Off to the south and one another system off to the north. These two systems are what we're watching for the end of the work week. They're essentially just going to kind of skim our area. And as they do, lifting a little bit further north, this one to the south, it will bring us some of those scattered showers. And a couple of thunderstorms out of that too. Let's talk about today's lake forecast. So before all that arrives, again, another beautiful day ahead of us. Temperatures will sit right near that low and mid 80 degree mark on the water with our water temperature up a couple degrees since yesterday near 67. Waves aren't an issue or anything like that. So again, enjoy that for this afternoon. This afternoon's high temperatures have a couple more degrees to go. Mid and upper 80s for some folks this afternoon without that cloud cover. We do dip as we head into the evening hours once sun sets into the 70s and 60s. But from there, it's not too far of a drop because clouds will begin to roll in as that system gets a little bit closer. And we will have uh, that save our temperatures a little bit tomorrow morning. Let's check out that future cast mostly clear throughout the rest of the day. And then tomorrow morning, there are some of those clouds moving in. You might find a scattered shower as you're headed out to work tomorrow morning. And then in the afternoon, very similar again. Like I said, it's nothing widespread. Obviously not a whole lot of rain showing up here. You may hear a little rumble of thunder, quick little pocket of heavier rain, but it's overall not too bad at all. And same goes for Friday. A few scattered showers. The afternoon will likely hold a couple thunderstorms as well on Friday and Saturday. But we're not looking at a washout by any means for Thursday and Friday. Just watch out for a few of those scattered showers. You may even get a little sun in between. Saturday is cool, cooler, probably a little bit more of that rain on the way. Definitely a gloomier afternoon, but there is some great recovery for the end of the weekend. Sunday, upper 70s and the sunshine.